Welcome back to Creatures, Cowards, and Crafting. Today we're going to make ourselves a dangerous and mutated version of the Era Cassia. This is affectionately referred to as the Face Palm of Mutant Crawl Classics. These palm trees are armed with a sonic blast and a life force drain. Basically, any victim that succumbs to this will be digested and it'll be taken underground. The nutrients will be turned into the meaty fruit above and the coconuts basically will take the features of whatever the victim looked like before. So let's go ahead and go to the table and we'll start. For this project I'm going to use some foam core for my base. I'm also going to use a little E6000, some Elmer's glue all. I'll put that on the surface. I'm just going to use some plastic palm trees I got at Amazon. Also have some air dry modeling clay. For the surface, I'll probably use this fine grout. We'll probably just sprinkle that on the base. And last, I have some mixture of white glue and water, and I'll use that just to spray on the surface, and I'll use this small brush. I'm gonna start by putting a little glue on the base like so. And I'm just going to thin it out using some water. Next, I'm going to take the fine grout. We'll open the bag. And we'll just start sprinkling this nice and lightly over the surface. We don't have to put giant clumps on there. And we can also let this dry a little bit and apply more if we need to. So once we're done with this, we're going to take a brush. And we're just going to kind of stipple this. And this is just going to break up any clumps that we might have. And we're also going to wet this down using that mixture of blue and water. Now we want to do fine mist and give this ample time to dry. It may take 24 hours, so just be patient. So while things are drying, we're going to take a piece of our clay here. And we're also going to take some of these skull beads I have. I'm also going to use some bits left over from a previous project. This just goes to show don't throw anything away and always use it on another project. And what we're gonna do is just kind of mash those two together and create our meaty fruit, AKA the coconut, like so. And of course, we're gonna give this time to dry and then what we'll do is E6000 it on the trunk, maybe kind of like this. And I'm just gonna show you guys one more time, grab the book here as a reference what we want to do is kind of cluster them together like so. Here I have the coconuts glued to the trunk. Keep in mind I allowed the clay ample time to dry before I did this. Now we're going to go ahead and prime everything. I'm using an army painter bone for this. We'll allow that to dry. And then we'll go ahead and start painting the coconuts using the Mississippi mud. Then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and give everything a nice wash. Uh, for the wash, I'm going to use an Agress Earth Shade. Of course, we're going to allow that to dry as well. And then we're going to give everything a nice, light, dry brushing. And just to finish things off, I'm going to add a little bit of flocking to the top of the coconut. And then we'll move on to the actual foliage. The palm tops have a nice shine to them. This comes with any type of cheap plastic toy. And to get rid of that, all we're going to do is take some Army Painter, Army Green, and lightly mist. Again, all we want to do is just apply a mat to that, get rid of that shine, and move on. So now we're going to go ahead and inspect our base. It looks like everything has dried. Uh, this is pretty straight, but if you do get some warping, don't worry about it. You can apply a little bit of glue to the back, and that should straighten it out. I was able to kind of flex this and it looks pretty flat to me. Next I'm going to take a small drill bit and drill a hole in the base. I'm going to trim the little stem at the bottom of the palm tree, fit that in with some E6000 and allow it to dry. Here I've just used some paint bottles to balance everything. To finish everything off I added some additional flocking, I also cut some of the palm tree leaves off and put that down there and some tufts and rocks. Let's see what this looks like on the table. Oh. 
as always, thank you for your viewership. I know some of us may be caught up with the quarantine. My thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family. I hope that you stay safe. I'll continue to try to pump out these videos. I understand that some of us are self-quarantined, so you may be getting a bad case of cabin fever. We'll see if we can up the videos to maybe two a week. I don't know. We'll try. However, if you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, share this with anyone that you might think like this type of craft, and we'll see you on the flip side. Stay safe, guys.